Well, I'm using that tarp right there and some conduit pipe. And I'm gonna hook up a dump tarp up here. I'm gonna use these tie downs. Oh, doesn't quite fit, does it? piece done. I gotta get the tarp on there. Just hook this to this. And this will roll it up. Easy. Pre-drill drill the holes. Pre-drill the holes, put an impact in it. Self-drilling. Screw. That's it. Alright, this works as a handle. Now it's a uh, little long, so it's not quite snag it in there. I'll put ropes or something or you know, ratchet straps on this or something. And just connect to the back. All right, sweetie. It's the easiest thing to do. I'll do it. All right. All right. So you pretty much get the idea here. This way, just secure this to anywhere. And leaves and brush and stuff like that won't fly out. Mulch. And it's not meant to hold in like tree branches and stuff like that, but and so when you guys move stuff like this, when you pile three yards of mulch in the back of your truck and you got a big pile, the wind's hitting it 60 miles an hour, blowing it down the highway. Yeah, that's what that's for. And you see, I just got a swap essential. And let's wind it up. If I could find some kind of like crank so it locks in as you're twisting it. So like right now it would have, you know, there'd be a tension on this and I could just tie it in place instead of just being loose. If I could find something for that. It'd be perfect. But for now, this is what I need. And then I don't have to worry about having a tarp in the back of my truck now. Pull it up. Put the ropes through the through the strings. They give it a little, you know, have the rope take on some of the strength when I tie it. But that'll work. That's what I need it for. All right. I might end up using a longer tarp. But the issue I was having was the tarps were wide for the length. So I didn't want to go too wide, that's why I have it folded over. You really only want it the width of the bed, and these beds are about six feet. And this tarp is eight foot by ten. I could have used another two or three feet lengthwise. But then I'd have to like cut this down and or find a tarp that was actually fit for that and they wouldn't be that cheap. These mesh tarps are always more expensive. But I think this is a Harbor Freight one. If it doesn't hold up, then whatever. It won't be on here too long. I'll use a different one there. But if I end up replacing it, I'll, I'll get one that has the right width almost, or around the right width, maybe like a foot wide or seven feet wide. But then I got the problem with the way I did the rollers. At the top of this headboard's not even six foot wide either. It's probably, probably close to five. So. I mean, it could just wind up that way anyways. That's, that doesn't matter. All right, so I'm going to wind this up, get rid of this mulch that I don't need, and get ready for my job tomorrow. So long.